speeding up the running track, but the running track is near total wine. So. I'm actually in for fake beer, <laughs> no alky beer, but you know, worth a look at the cabinet, anything new? Distillers on at McAllen. I think that's been there for a while, hasn't it? Anything new? Hmm. About a hundred dollars a year. <laughs> No, not even whiskey down there. I'm looking for something interesting. What's that doing there? Oh, it's the Bunner for Shield. Fair enough. I don't even know what type of barrel it is. Oh, PX. Well, I definitely won't be wanting that then, will I? Um. I mean, this is still here. That's what you're That's what you're Hmm. Still got a big 25. Yeah. And then it's like Captain Luggage Time. Are you the guy who makes the YouTube videos? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm Darren. Hey, Darren. Phil. <laughs> How you doing, Phil? Make, I, I making work, a video. <laughs> I work for William Grant. So. Oh, you do? Yeah, what? I've seen your videos before. Oh, you good? Yeah, I, I've, I've serviced this account a few times. I saw you come I see. Like, oh, yeah. So, What's going on the shelf today then? Got well, some Glenfiddich? We're putting the Glenfiddich out, but we're also doing a um, Glenfiddich 12 year sherry cast just came out. Oh right yeah. Here. Oh nice. So we're just about to release it tonight in San Francisco. It's a big release party, but it's been out for about a month and a half now. Yeah. Is it so, this one? Yeah. It's fantastic. It's uh, finished good. in Amontillado casks. Oh nice. Yeah. So yeah. it's a nice little sherry finish. Too, yeah. But, I like uh, Amontillado. I had it last week for the last, for the first time. It's it's fantastic for a person who doesn't really drink scotch. Yeah. <laughs> right up my alley. What's the price going to be on that then? I believe it is. Here, I'll tell you one second. I'm That's right. Nine, but I just want to make sure. There you go. Glenfiddich 12. Just trying to see what the ABV is. Does it tell you on here? No. 47.99. Not too bad. Nice. Okay. Then. <laughs> What's the last thing you've had that was special? Uh, uh, what the hell? You know, I had Talisker 18, which I haven't had for a little while. Talisker, how was that? It was really good. Yeah. Better, better than I remembered. So, tell me the name of your channel again. Whiskey Mystery. Whiskey Mystery. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell my boss about it tonight. <laughs> Great, thanks. Uh, we're fans of Craig Ellicky. That's always a good one as well. Oh, here it is, here. Right, here's your new bottle. Yeah, we, I think I've worked for a one Yeah, it just came out about a month and a half ago. Right. Yeah, it was, a, it was on the new item platform for Total Wine um, in September. Yeah. It's still up there right now, luckily, but um, yeah, it's a new release and uh, we can't be happier about it. Fantastic. It's good to see new stuff coming out. See what other exciting stuff might there be. Oh, a new bunch of independents here, I think. Milton Duff, Altmore, that's a Craig Ellicky. Ooh, someone's probably told me who that is before, and I can't remember. See what's the Craig Ellicky. It's 107. It's a total wine special. 57.1%. And what type of cask is it? Well, oak. One of 291 suggests ex bourbon, doesn't it? Uh, does it say? Oh, great. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> nice. Let's see what color this Craig Gallic is. 
presuming it's not. Oh yeah, that looks like an ex-bourbon Craigality, doesn't it? That color. Wonder what that's like. Oh, there it is. Yeah, matured in bourbon hogshead. Seven years. Oh, finished in a Calvados barrique. Interesting. How sweet is Calvados? I don't even know. Moving on. It's a very pink Dalmore. <laughs> is, that, is that new? Now oh, that's been around for a while. It's cleanless now. There's a uh, bracket. Still, not a bad price on the Glendronic. Arden American. What kind of batches are we on here? Combo pack. Tower of Egg, still hanging in there. Little Jake turn. Oh, you know what? I just realized this. Clyde side. Is that Clyde side? No. Yes, it is Clyde side. It's Dope Cross. 46%. What's the price on it here? It's about $75 out the door. Now, I'm guessing that's young. Three, three years old, probably. It's the price of our standards. Still pretty good. Don't complain too much about that. Amarone cask. Wow, Tomatin 18, still holding the $100 line. Good for them. Standard Lafroig, Sherry Oak. Mm. Yeah, price is creeping up. What is the 18 is up now? Springbank <laughs> or Kilcarran for that matter. If that's it for today. Dan, good luck with that one. Phil, thank you so much. I'll see you soon, okay? See you again. We'll do a quick drive by the, uh, the other sections. Let's see. Hmm. 
can just have got Nika and others in at the moment. Let's see. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, they have missed it over here. Not bad. Oh, it's a... <laughs> that would be good, yeah. VR VR shopping would be good. Hey, oh, excuse all me. signs kind of point to it. Yeah, it's true. Especially with you, now that they got Uber Eats and Uber Drinks and whatever it is. Yeah. Virtual drinking is never going to be a thing though, is it? No. That's they're not, gonna that's not going to work. Then they're going to order it, put it back on the VR and start drinking. Yeah. Real drinking though. Hmm. Apparently not out of stock. Okay, I think that's it for now.